In this episode of Homestead How, we're going to teach you how to make choke cherry jelly. Enjoy! Okay, so here's the supplies you're going to need. Sugar, lemon juice, pectin, a bowl, cheesecloth, and sterilized jars. Here you'll see the pictures that I took of the choke cherries that my mother-in-law gave me when we were visiting her in North Dakota. First you want to make sure you wash your berries re really well and take out the stems or any leaves that might be left in. You'll want to take a big stock pot, put your cherries in, fill the water to the top so the top is touching the cherries. Then you want to boil them for about 15 or 20 minutes. After it's done boiling, you want to take your cheesecloth and put it over your bowl to catch any leaves or twigs that might be left behind. Then you're going to want to squeeze out all the juices and be sure that you catch all the leaves and twigs and there's also little tiny cherry pits inside. You want to make sure you get those out as well. I actually strain them twice. So after you do with this with all of your choke cherries, you'll get a ton of juice. Next you're going to want to add your juice into your pot and add your pectin. Hey guys, it's Jen from Homestead How with a quick message and to tell you what this little white button does. We create custom wood signs, mugs, ornaments, USA flags, and much more. So make sure you check out homesteadhow.com. Be sure to follow the recipe below. It's very important you add the right amount of pectin, otherwise it won't turn out correctly. Next, you're going to want to add your sugar to it and let it boil for a minimum of two minutes. You'll notice that it'll start to harden. So next, you're going to want to Add your jelly juice into your sterilized jars and make sure that you have an inch headroom to the top. Next you're going to want to boil them, but make sure you check your elevation because everywhere differs. Uh, we did it for 10 minutes. And then after that you're going to want to pull it up and take them out and let them start popping away. It's the most exciting part is when you hear all your seals popping and you know you did a good job. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave comments below if you have any, and be sure to subscribe. I'll leave the recipe below for you to use. Thanks for watching!